Hi guys and gals and welcome to PC Pandemic. So the courier just brought me something that I bought during Black Friday and if you've been following me on Gaming Tribe you saw something I wrote about it. But without any further ado, let's get the box. Oh, it's right here. Okay, as you can see, I've never opened this. Uh, so let's proceed and do that together. Yeah, easy to open. I love it. And let's see what size is it. Okay, upside down, obviously. There you go. It's a crucial SSD, 750 gigabytes. Um, MX300, uh, I needed this for editing and also I'm gonna store all of my games in there because I'm running out of space guys. You are pretty darn uh, heavy in terms of memory, I mean, a video? Yeah, that's, a, that's some heavy stuff guys, heavy files there, no, I'm not prepared for this one. Let's use a pen. Okay guys, just needed a trustworthy cutter that wasn't around. You naughty bastard. There you go. It always takes two tries to get it. Okay, so very easy. Packaging, uh, just the SSD. Period. Maybe there's some paperwork down there. Yeah, there's a paperwork down there, and there's a mounting solution. If you what? If you want to stick it, am I looking at this the right way? Oh well, I don't know. What the heck? It doesn't have screw holes, so I'm not sure. Well, anyways, this is the SSD. Uh, very easy i mean nothing special about it uh the screw holes and that's pretty much it let's get down with the review then shall we aesthetically it is very simple just metal and a blue sticker on it yeah as you can probably tell i'm cold but let's do this anyways so the first thing you may want to do when you first buy the ssd is actually mount it so let's use the four non-included screws really and mount it in place every case has a different mounting solution so this is mine but yours may differ so just make sure you know what you're doing if your mounting solution is anywhere close to mine the next thing you need to do after you're done screwing in place is put the tray back where it belongs in the drive cage okay we're almost there we just need to give it some juice and the ability to transfer data to the motherboard so we need two cables one is from the power supply and that's gonna be your power cable and the other one is a non-provided SATA cable that you need to plug into the drive itself and in a free SATA slot in your motherboard after you're done with the wires you can boot your PC just make sure you're booting from the drive that holds the OS so now you're all set up with your SSD. Let's go from this slow. So let's put it through our tests. Synthetic benchmarks, file transfers, video editing, and loading of video games. And let's see how fast this thing can go. The Crucial MX300 has a slightly better write speeds than the Samsung 850 Pro that wins on the read speeds by a significant margin. I also threw in the Caviar Black results just so you know what kind of gains you can have by going with an SSD. When you're moving files a lot of it has to do with what drives you're using. So if you're using a mechanical drive and an SSD, the mechanical one will sort of bottleneck your SSD that will be forced to go at around 80 to 85 megabytes per second. But if you're using the two SSDs, 
you can see the real speed of those SSDs that will go at around uh, 450 megabytes per second, making your transfer a lot more enjoyable. Please keep in mind that these scenes are fast forward at 7 times the normal speed. And while we are at it and we have some spare time together, I can tell you that I paid this one 130 euros on Black Friday and it's a 750 gigabyte version. So a lot of gigabytes for the price. I mean, I can find some 500 gigabytes SSDs that are more expensive than this one. And I'm totally satisfied with it. I mean, performance is real solid and it's very cheap. So thumbs up there. And now for one of the main reasons I purchased this SSD, which is video editing. I want to say you won't see any difference in rendering speed, uh, that one just depends on your CPU and I don't have the best of CPUs so it's gonna take a little while to render, but where you're gonna see the difference is in loading some real heavy files. The ones you're seeing on screen are about 7 gigabytes and you can see the difference between a mechanical drive and an SSD. The mechanical drive is simply not usable. I mean, you hit play, it takes like tons of seconds to load and when you get playback, it really sucks, it's not usable. But with an SSD, things get much better and I enjoy it so much. The clips you're seeing on screen are not edited whatsoever, so you can totally feel the difference that an SSD makes over a hard drive. Before we dive into the Mankind Divided results, I wanted to say how these tests were conducted. Uh, every single time I moved the file or whatever, I then shut down the PC, shut down the PSU, just to make sure that the cache was deleted, and then powered the PC back on and repeated the test with the other drive or whatever. And these Deus Ex Mankind Divided tests were no exception, and the SSD yielded a 40 second loading time uh, while the mechanical drive yielded a uh, 2 minutes and 14 seconds loading time of the same exact game. Now, if you're a gamer, do you need one? No. Do you want one? Well, if you're not satisfied with your loading times, then definitely go ahead and pull the trigger on this. This is a very good product that will boost your speeds up, especially if you're gonna install the OS on it, it's gonna be amazing and it's definitely recommended. Now, it won't be the fastest SSD on the market, but I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are really gonna enjoy it and are really gonna feel the difference between a hard drive and an SSD such as this one, while saving some money. Click on that button and that one. Then come join me during the next PERSIPANDAVE!